Hello everyone, I'm Rob and I'm here with Dr. John Hashe, uh, as usual, his last few videos. Um, this one, uh, we're going to continue our discussion about eye health, but we're going to be focusing on oxygenation, which is part of what we've been calling the trinity of eye health. So, John, take it away. Lecture. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're right, here, here comes the, the professor. The um, um, oxygen is something that uh, we, we take for granted. Um, if we stop breathing for, what, five, six minutes, we would die, fundamentally. That, so our life depends on, on oxygen. And what oxygen does in our bodies, actually, it uh, permits the, the cell to be able to wiggle and jiggle and to excrete and secrete, make a copy of itself. So it, it so oxygen actually participates in the production of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is your currency of energy for your cells and for your body. Without ATP, like I say, five six minutes, bang, you're dead. There's no there's no more you. So oxygen then is is absolutely essential. You can't live without it. And so uh, we 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 understand that the arteries carry oxygen uh, to the cells, and the veins carry the used or the used blood back to gather more oxygen and it, the cycle starts all over again yeah okay so uh so we understand because arteries we can see them so on so veins we see those but what we don't see are the very small blood vessels the small blood vessels that actually make up the eye uh, that deliver oxygen to the eye the same thing uh, applies to the eyes as to the rest of the body, they're cells. They're actually neurons uh, that make up your eye. Now these cells uh, are <clears throat> are the eye is composed of what we call rods and cones, and we can we can see a, an image of that. So you see these little rods and cones over here, which are which make up the the retina here of the eye. These little rods and cones are pretty well what what your eyesight uh, depends on. Now. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but the rods and cones actually have to replace themselves within 48 hours. Yeah. So there's a lot of garbage going on. And so you need something to take the garbage out, and that's the lymphatic system. The bloodstream carries nutrients, and the lymph carries nutrients to the, to the eye. And what happens when you start um, slowing down, if you slow down the delivery of oxygen, you can see that here, you can see these blood vessels, it's the choroid. And the choroid is, is what nourishes the eye, right? And carries these nutrients in here as well. So uh, when, when, you, when this slows down and for any reason, uh, any stress and all of that, these things that limit the amount of blood flow, the volume of blood flow and oxygen to the eye, um, even low blood pressure, these things are all actually dangerous for our eyesight. And what the first thing that will start to appear, what we call drusen, and drusen are these little scars that we pick up. Now, this won't affect your eyesight in any great way. If you go see an eye doctor who will do uh, a lot of precision work on the on the retina, on the back of the eye, to see if you've got any drusen, any scars. Now, these are the telltale signs of a lack of nourishment mm -hmm. uh, to the eye. So we don't want drusen. And uh, if it's allowed to continue, if you if you disturb the blood flow for any great amount of time, then uh, we'll find damage to the photoreceptors, which are the rods and cones, will start to set in, and we'll have uh, what we call vision loss. Now, this could be uh, when this form of damage will be like a wet macular degeneration. So, uh, so oxygen then absolutely essential. And where, how do we get it? We get it through blood flow. Yeah. So blood flow then, we know that, uh, and, and a lot of things, I mean, in your eyes, it depends on oxygen. Yeah. And so how, how do we, uh, why do we talk about microcurrent in eyes? Is because every publication that you'll find, whether it be on PubMed, Medscape, all the research that's ever been done on microcurrent, we talk about blood the blood. increase in blood flow. Yeah. And the increase in production of ATP. Yeah. ATP is increased by 500%. This is in the, this is all in the publications in the research. Yeah. So an increase of 500% uh, in ATP production means that we've also increased the same amount of oxygen to the cells. And with that, we trigger the healing process. We, we allow it to stop the degeneration. 
It's all those sorts of things. It's the same as you as you've said before as well, right? That's why things like gangrene happens. Yeah. You, yeah. No more oxygen to the area. It yeah, in a die. short period of time, you've got you've got blood flow to any organ, any system in the body, and, and gangrene is the next step. Uh, yeah. In, in in degeneration of cells. Okay, so that's oxygenation for the eyes. In the next episode, we are going to be talking about the tooth organ relationship and specifically how that pertains to our eye health. So we'll see you over there. Interesting stuff. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Okay.